So remember on Friday when I told everyone that I made a website? Well, I am ready to show it to you. I'm so excited and I really hope you're going to like it. So there are a few pages on the website that are going to be very helpful to parents. And there are a few pages on the website that are definitely for students. So what I'm going to do is show you the website and the address. I am going to walk you through it a little bit so that you can check it out and know which pages do what and where to click. And then I'm going to post it and you can explore and just have fun. Now I'm still adding to it and I'll keep adding to it this whole time. That way we have extra read alouds on there. I'm trying to answer all the questions you guys have asked me. I've been a little busy right now, just trying to make sure we all understand what we're doing with our online learning and trying to make sure all of the supplies are coming in that we're gonna hand out to you guys. And I'm also gonna post that for you today. So lots of good things are happening and I'm really excited. So get ready and we're gonna explore the website, okay? Here we go. I want to take you through a little tutorial of what our website looks like and what you can use it for. It says click for Zoom schedule. If I click on that, it's going to take me to a new screen. Now we have opened up here to the Zoom schedule. Now on the top it says home. That's the page we're on. Kids ask, I answer. That's going to take me to a new page. Videos and lessons, links and logins, and home routines. Now as we go down, now all of our classroom info can be found on one site. Click on the blue box below to begin. When you are using a phone or tablet, these are going to be easier for you to see because these top ones are going to be in just a regular menu box. So now parents, I want to show you this because I think this is going to be a really helpful page. We're going to click on links and logins. Now again, I have here link to Zoom schedule. And now I have these sorted. So it says skill, practice, lessons, and assignments. You can choose what you need to look up. Education.com is one we're going to be starting this week. And Raz Kids, we know. So it says reading fluency and comprehension, teacher name, R Faust 1. So if you forget, it's there. But if I click here on this box, it is just going to take me to that site. So now in a new window, it's just going to open up. And here we are. It takes you right to my username with my um, teacher's name, and the students can just pick on there. What if you forget the username and passwords for IXL or ClassKick? Well, they are listed right here under. It says username. First name plus last name plus 307, no spaces or symbols. And I give an example in case the kids need it and they want to add the plus signs. This reminds them they don't have to. Now again, if we click on them, it's going to take us right to the site. And you are not going to need to do anything extra. And then they can just sign right in and it opens in a separate window. Now if we go back, education.com is going to need a class code. But if you click on the link that I've left for you, it's going to take you right to ours anyway. And then they can just choose their person. Okay, going back to our site. And then when you go down, I have also made these so that you can log in to other sites we find useful. So we have the Children's Library, Virtual Library, Pebble Go, Scholastic News, Brain Pop, and it has all of the passwords, logins, and codes. So I hope this page is going to come in helpful. And then parents, I also have the Home Routines tab for you. On that one, it's just going to show you the best way to go about a day so that they're not missing anything. And you can read this whenever you have time. 
So you're just going to go and it says you need to go through the morning message, watch the video, warm up, the read aloud, the lesson. So it's just giving you all the different parts to our day. Okay, students, now I think this is the part you guys are going to really like. If we go to videos and lessons, it is going to show us extra videos, previous lessons. So it says, are you looking for old lessons and read alouds? Find them here. And you can click and you're going to find a whole list of all of our old lessons. So I clicked on that box and here we go. If you want to watch the Sherlock video again, it's here. Silent E. This is not my hat. And you just keep going down and you're going to see all the old videos that you might want to watch. What if you are looking for some of those technology tips? Well, they're right here. And that's where you're going to see all the different videos to help you on our different websites. Now, this is my favorite part, extra read alouds and fun videos. So this is going to show you extra stories I've read just for you. So right now we have three there and I'm about to add one more and I will keep adding more. So if you wanted to read, uh, listen to me read Nuffle Bunny, you're going to click here on the blue word that says here and it's going to take you right to it. Pretty exciting, right? And there it is. But we don't need to listen now. Okay, now we go back and there's one more part I want to show you. Here is the kids ask, I answer. And I have lots more of these I need to add, so don't worry. But it says, you asked, I answered. My students rock. You have all asked some amazing questions and told me some really interesting topics you would like to learn about. Since you took the time to share these questions and ideas with me, I am doing my best to answer them. So here's a Sherlock video and it says Sherlock questions part one. I answer them here. If you click on that word here, I made a whole video answering some of your questions and I am not done because you guys asked a lot of good ones. Here is a video where I'm showing you a plant that grew roots and I'm putting into a new pot and planting it. You can watch that here. And there's only a couple of videos up here right now, but I'm going to keep adding them. So I hope this helped. I hope you're going to explore it and look for everything and check it out. And parents and kids and everyone, I love you. I miss you. And let me know if you need help or have questions. Okay. Bye, guys.